The history of ceramics goes back so far. It goes back to our de development and it's global. You know, all over the world people have found this material and understood that fire and clay make something special. I'm Grace Anker, I am a ceramicist and I teach pottery. I would say I would always wanted to do art, but I never felt talented. So I did whatever my hands would turn to, I would do it, and it would be whatever was available to me when I grew up here in Queens. So I loved art, I loved it, and, but I just felt that it wasn't something I could really dedicate myself to until I walked into a pottery studio in Queens and, and everything changed. All right, so I'm going to make a bowl from this clay. I need to open the center, so I'm pressing into the middle. And I can slow down the wheel a little bit. As a child, art wasn't really that important in my household. My parents uh, were not able to go back home because communism was a, a, an issue. And many people came to the United States in order to escape that. And this country gave them that opportunity. You know, it was a struggle initially for my family. And I remember that because I was a young child when we came. And we didn't have a lot of art in the home. There was no real outlet. And I felt kind of frustrated. My, my, my neighbor, we had a neighbor who gave me a box of embroidery thread. And that was my expression of art. It was limiting, and that's why ceramics is so different. You can, you know, take this material and go big or small. I'm changing the shape of it. I'm taking it out of its round form. When I walked into the studio, it was like I felt so much at home and at peace. Uh, and it's kind of uh, almost magical, you might say when you can you know, think of something and before you know it, it can look like an apple or a puppy or a tree. You know, and you're building and creating out of you know, like this material that's transforming. So I can't leave it here. I'm going to take a wire and cut underneath it. There you go. It's not quite finished yet because it has to dry. I'm bringing the dried pots downstairs to our kills. We have several, and when it's completed with glaze, after the initial firing, we glaze them, and then they're ready for use. Here's a lovely pitcher. You know, the smoke and the ash make this glaze, so to cover it and to make it smooth and wonderful. And you know, people find ceramics all the time and explains our history and explains our development. And it's still very relevant today because it's in our cell phones, it's in our computers, it's in our space shuttle. It makes the space shuttle able to come back to Earth. You know, so it's, it's a very relevant thing. We touch it every day and we take it for granted. Without ceramics, we wouldn't be who we are. We wouldn't live the way we do. So I like to be able to share my knowledge and have people express themselves, you know, through this medium that we call clay. And that's, I, you know, that's, that's what I really live for.